This is what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to We Shoot Films. All right, so today I want to talk about this Aston Large Cardio Condenser Microphone. I actually bought this back in California when I used to run a recording studio uh, back then. And I've always loved the sound of this. I haven't used it lately because now that I'm doing this style of recording, I don't have much use for this type of microphone as far as the form factor because it gets in the way. But this is still an amazing microphone. So I thought maybe there's some people out there that might still do some podcast or even recording studios or voiceovers or something and might want to look into this microphone. You can get it at a great price and it sounds amazing. This is an Aston Origin microphone. It's made of hard stainless steel metal. It feels good in your hands. This is not cheap at all, but yet the price is amazing. You can get this for like $200 new, and if used, you probably can get it about a buck 50, buck 20. You know, it all depends, you know what I mean? So just look for it. If you don't wanna buy it new, you could definitely buy this used. It weighs only 450 grams. It has a negative 10 decibel pad, 80 hertz high pass filter. In the bottom, you have your 5A threading and XLR. You don't have to use a pop filter with this. I would say if you're getting real close um, to use a pop filter, but if you keep it a good, you know, five to six inches away from your face, you shouldn't need a pop filter. It has a built-in pop filter. It's kind of cool. Like I said, it got this stainless steel look to it. I love the way they designed this. Now the self noise, it's not bad at all. The self noise is about 18 dBA. It's a little high, but I'm telling you, in real world use of this, it's not bad at all. Trust me, I will do a test, but the self noise on this is not bad. And it also depends on your preamps and what are you recording into. That's any microphone. All right, so now you're listening to the Aston Origin microphone. How do you think it sounds? Right now it's about six inches or so from my mouth. Um, again, I'm just talking to talk so you can hear it. Right now this is at a zero dB. If I engage the high pass filter, this is now with the high pass filter engaged. One, two, one, two, high pass filter off. One, two, one, two. How do you think it sounds? It's a bit hotter than my other microphone, so I'm trying to stay away. Like I said, if you're about six inches away from it, you should not need a pop filter, you know? So, peace, pop, pour, yo. I'm trying to think of stuff with the peas. Peas, pop, pee, pop, pee, pop, people, 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 people. All right, let's do a silence test, a noise floor test. You might hear my my computer in the background can't do much about that but here we go all right so that was the noise floor test now let's do the, re the rejection if this is again about six inches here we go one two one two one two one two i'm at the side one two one two this is the back of it one two one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, and back in the front. One two three. Now, if I engage the negative ten dBs, now it's negative ten dBs, which is probably better because I was probably running a bit hot right now. I can get closer. If we get closer, now we're doing the proximity test, which is going to be a bit hot. I'm trying not to distort my audio so I'm being careful but if you do this close you're gonna need a pop filter <laughs> all right that's it so who do I think this microphone is good for I think this mic is good for those who want to do voiceovers um, in studio recordings even podcasting you can have this just at an off access like this and you're talking in a podcast and it's out of the way and it's still gonna capture them very good. So this is still good for podcasting at a good price of $200 new. That's not too bad at all. Even if you wanna use this for your studio setup. You know, me personally, I'm a big fan of pencil condenser microphones for in-studio. 
But if this is your style of what you want, this could look real good. You know what I mean? You can, again, keep it right here low, you know, hook it up. And so there you go. And it's not in the way. I'm just not a fan of doing that. But if you might want that look, you know, I don't know. It's up to you. But if you wanted to use it, you could. You know, I'm glad I purchased it. I won't sell it. I'll always keep it just in case. You never know. Um, so I'm happy I got it. Just wanted to bring this to you in case you was looking for some type of other type of uh, condenser cardioid microphone. This could be the one for you. I'll have an affiliate link in the bottom if you want to purchase it. You know, feel free to use that link. Hope that helped you out. If you were looking for something like this, subscribe. Hit that bell on the side so you get notified on time. Like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out.